So the good news is y'all didn't see me do a false start there because I didn't hit the button to actually start streaming. I was talking to the mic for a second. Not too long. I kind of realized what was going on. Only because I looked over and saw what was going on. So uh, hang on, I got to turn down some other music here. Yeah, so once again, you've got different music than me. <coughs> Hopefully it's not too loud in the background. Uh, we're going to fix for that or whatever. Like, I don't know. Maybe it just shouldn't have music, but I feel like it needs to be something back there. Oh, close that. Uh, yeah, so... What's going to happen tonight? Tonight gotta do some Django. Um, I've been doing a little bit over the past few days. I kind of got my head around it now, I think. Um, or I got my head around the basics. This will be kind of the part about getting it going, going. Um, I like jamming songs, but it turns out that's not a good thing to have in the background for me when I'm trying to like concentrate and talk like I can do it when I'm coding sometimes but like not when I'm trying to code and talk so uh, or stream whatever um, of course now what I have playing is not actually playing this is going to be the Alan messing with music show apparently there it goes um, yeah so I started working with Django and what I'm doing right now is coming up with kind of my own little cheat sheet. So like I've got stuff that I know I want to do um, and I'm not sure about the right way to do it. So uh, I'm going through and finding kind of stuff in the, some of the documentation um, and searching or whatever. So like one thing I was trying to look for sorting stuff and Django has this order by uh, I control how null values are sorted. Um, has this order by thing. So I was kind of looking around for that, but then I discovered there's also a way to use these meta tags to actually define in your class for each object the way that things are ordered. Um, so I'm just kind of going through and making some little cheat sheets about that stuff um, to try and both practice, but also get it in my head and then also just have the cheat sheets. Uh, I'm also doing them pretty explicitly so that uh, there's this concept going around these days with like the digital garden, um, which I think we need to uh, like, I hope that turns into a word like digin, um, cause like digital garden is too many syllables. Um, but like, it'd be cool to have this, this idea of like, instead of just the blog and sort of the chronological stuff, which I haven't, that I hadn't thought about too much, but yeah, it's not the greatest presentation. Um, though I have thought about it recently because on my site right now, um, it, it's like, oh, daily chapters is up there. Oh, I didn't read your chapter today. Um, that's probably not going to happen. Um, but it's like links, 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 links. Like that's not so great. Um, and like, I didn't. I didn't think about that when I was first posting those, maybe a little bit, but it's, uh, I definitely want to adjust that. So I still want to have those link things, but I don't want them like taking up all the chronological stuff. And one of the pieces I was reading a little while ago was talking about curation of your homepage. And I was like, yeah, you know, that, that used to be the way it was. And like, that sounds like a good thing to kind of get back to doing. So one of the projects that I'll be working on is migrating my blog or my site over to this kind of digital garden idea. Um, which I'm going to start calling the Digin. Even though when I say it out loud, I'm not sure if that is going to work. Um, Digin? Digin? Eh, whatever. Um, but one of the things I want to do on that is have... Or one of the ideas behind that, too, is like lots of people are doing or pushing their notes out. Which is something I've thought about a fair amount prior to really kind of getting into that. Um, but it's, it, I'm definitely now more into it, especially with the, the idea of this digital garden thing. So I'm setting these notes up pretty explicitly, or I'm setting these samples up and these cheap sheet sheets up pretty explicitly to be designed to be good notes out there, not just for myself, but for anybody. Because like, if I was going to do it, I could have 
notes that just made sense for me and that would be fine, but I'm spending a little bit more time on them. I'm uh, spending a fair amount more time on them, cleaning them up and making them like really explicit. And like, instead of doing to like this foreign keys example one, I could do three or four things in there to kind of show what's going on, but I'm only doing the one thing. And then, so that can be its own complete independent piece. And then in foreign keys example number two, it's very similar to foreign keys example one. And I could have actually just rolled it basically in and just said, and just change these two things. And then you got this other one, but I want it to be a standalone thing. That's completely independent. Um, so I'm going to be making a bunch of these. Um, and then the other thing that I'm doing, Oh, I actually need to make a readme right now is like foreign keys. Example two sort by linked sort by foreign key, I guess. I don't know what, really what to call that, but so I'm like adding these readmes. Um, I'm actually going to write a script that goes through here and does the assembly of all these things. So it'll basically look for a readme and then inside the readme, um, I have little tags, I think it's for where to insert like the views file and the URLs file, etc. So like this whole thing will come out there and you'll be able to see the entire piece, um, or all of the, all the files. Of course, as part of that, I'm trying to make it, make them as small as possible. Um, like with the models, I debated on whether or not I would take out this string thing, which would make the model, you know, a few lines shorter, but it would be harder to read in the admin console of Django. Um, uh, it would just say like, instead of saying, if the state, instead of saying Alabama, it would say object one. And so you can't really figure out what's going on that until you click on it and then you see the name. So this just basically says, hey, when you're listing it, use the name as the display thing. Um, hence Alabama, roll tide. Um, but so anyways, I'm just going to go through and kind of mess around with a couple of these. And some of this will be figuring it out because I'm not. And the other trick is like, I'm not sure how all this stuff works. So like um, I've got a, a few example things here that I'm probably going to go through, um, but this will be kind of a good start. Um, as basically just figuring out how, how this works. Uh, so the first one I have is this one, which is live. Um, and this is example one, um, that basically you give it states and cities and then it sorts the states and puts the cities underneath the state. It's just the most basic foreign key, uh, many to one relationship. So the second one, what I'm trying to do is I want to see how to start with the cities let me just close all these so i can start fresh um so i want to start with the cities and then show the states for each city um and so we'll see how that goes yeah so we're still sorting by city still sorting by state even though that shouldn't matter in this one i don't think we'll see so cities objects I'm actually, I was working on this before I started. I'm not sure how far I got. Um, so let's try just go in here and see what's happened. It's not on. So step one. Actually, you know what? Do I want to do this here? Why don't we do this here? Django Garden. Uh oh. Where'd that go? Oh. That was supposed to be a hotkey that kicked in and made it do its thing. Okay, example two. Nothing happening. So in our templates, index, pre. Aha. Uh -huh. Make sure we got a tone test. There we go. For city and cities. In for. City. 
Wah -wah. No such table. Oh, you know what? Uh, I don't think. Yeah, we are just gonna. I'm gonna keep bouncing back and forth to this. So. Um... Dev, Django, scratch pads, O2, Django Garden. I really should make this its own thing. I'm going to keep going on this right now, but eventually, yeah, so off stream, I'm going to move that into its own thing. Um, so I guess it makes the most sense to just start working over there. Get, get repos, get init, bear, Django Garden. Dev, get clone, get repos, Django, garden. Aw. Django, garden. Um... Source for the Django Garden. Source for the Digital Garden Django entries. I like doing the readme and uh, and the get ignore as my first two things. Also, this screwed me at one point because I called something site, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, get add dot get commit ooh comment. And then git check out branch dev. All right, so now pi env. This is all the boring stuff, right? But I want to. This is I want this to be where this is going to go. So we're going to take a minute and get it there. Um, virtual env three dot nine dot zero. The env Django Garden. There we go. Pi env local vnv Django garden. Sweet. And then pip install Django. Go ahead and clear this. Oops. And then Django admin start project config dot. Sweet. Python manage pi. 
Migrate. Uh, what am I doing? Pacharam. Close these for a minute. We'll get back to them momentarily. Dev, Django Garden, open. New window. Fix it up, cool, give it a minute. All right, so let's just blow through and, eh, I'm not gonna make a homepage right now. Um, Python manage pi, start app. EI foreign key. You wanna call it foreign key or foreign keys? Many to many foreign key. I guess it's actually just called a foreign key, right? Like in the code. Key, so we'll just call it foreign key. All right, so we're going to settings. Foreign key example two urls.py i'm just kind of burn through this i've done this a few times of late so from django urls import path and then from dot import views url patterns path of nothing or you know nothing uh is going to be views dot index which isn't going to be there but we're going to go here see this is kind of like how tutorials tell you to do it they do all this stuff before they actually show you anything um which once you've kind of got it sure makes sense um cities equals city See, none of this stuff exists yet. I just objects all. I'm probably gonna um, screw myself a little bit because I'm not actually doing this well, um, like testing it or doing whatever. Return, render, request. Uh, Wish that would get out of there. Um, blah, 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 blah. What are we doing? Foreign E I G N key example to index HTML context. So there's our views, there's our pattern, here's our models. Models I'm just going to grab from our other one over here. Oops. Oh, okay, I got it. That's oh, at the readme. Yeah, my convention's gonna be to have the, the double underscore for the readme as a signal to say, hey, this is something that should go to the garden, basically. I probably want a YAML file too or something that's like publish. Um, I 
foreign key first. I don't know, I got nothing there. Get that out of there. Let that and this example, you aren't using a class meta ordering equals name for the state model. That's because there is only one state per city, so there's no need for it in this example. Oh, this is running. So we got our models, got that. So the other thing we need to do is Python manage, make migrations. And then Python manage, migrate, migrate. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna need to add them to our admin so we can actually add some stuff. That's apps, this is admin. From models, import city state. App, slate, register. It's also really good practice for getting this stuff in my fingers. All right, uh, and I need a template. Example two, new, new, boo, index HTML. Here. All right, let's see what happens there. Uh, that's the old server. Let's start this one, see what happens. Uh, PRS, there it goes. Don't, ah, oh, app is not defined. See, this is where Uh, it was in the admin, admin, admin. Oh, there it went. Okay, so that's there. Foreign key. Example two. Pattern not found. Oh, I gotta put the pattern on the top. URLs. So we gotta have include here. And here, path. Foreign key example to include foreign key example to URLs. Pi. URLs. Dot URLs. I think that's it. That does not appear to be it. I think I didn't put a comma after it. I didn't put a comma after it. Now what is happening? It doesn't appear to have any patterns in it. Sure it does, They're right there. You're all P T T E R N S. There we go. City is not defined. Models, city, URLs, views. Oh, 
from models import city. Here you go. So, so as fast as I've done all this, I'm, that actually isn't awful. Um, with the banging through it. Uh, okay, what do we got? So here, and I'm, so the other thing with these is I'm not doing, again, I want it to be standalone, so I'm not like calling out to a template. I'm also just doing uh, pre, uh, for pre-formatted stuff, so that there's no need to integrate HTML in it, basically. Um, for city and cities, city.name. I should also add some cities. Uh, I'm not going to worry about a homepage right now. Oh, I should also create a super user. this but if you get to this you're already on my machine so I'm already in trouble oops start your server my eyes freaking out uh oh look at this it's in UTC it's already December 1st in UTC States, Florida, Alabama, New York, cities, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, uh, Orlando, Florida. I was going to try and come up with another one, but... Oh, St. Augustine. We should do St. Augustine, right? St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, Miami, Florida. Well, actually, hang on. Let's do New York. New York. New York, New York. Albany, which I might not be spelling right. And then Miami. I just want to have them spread around a little bit. Um, there we go. Hey, it's already sorted. There you go. And then now... Does that work? There you go. So that's easy. really only the two ways to do that right so you show the cities the states and the cities that are in them and then the cities with their states yeah all right we're gonna go ahead and add the other one in here too just so we got it it'll just take a minute
foreign key example one. All right, 38 after, let's see how fast we can do this. So to start with, come here, do this, blah, blah, do that, do that. Go to our URLs. Go that to one, go that to one. Models give you the same model. Use def index request states state objects all context states state uh, return render request foreign key example one index HTML context uh, models we got but this one we're gonna want this uh, admin from models city state admin site register city register state uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. templates foreign key example one index HTML here save Python manage make migrations foreign key example one. Oh, I forgot the URLs. URLs.py from Django.urls import path from dot import views URL patterns path nothing views dot index Python manage migrate. Uh, and then we need to add something to it, but real quick, we'll just see if this is at least alive. And by alive, we need it to be alive. State is not defined. Okay, that's all right. Uh, Evan, city, state, state, models, city, state. We just migrated them. What's going on? Aha. From models, import, state. State is not defined. Urf. States, plural. Template does not exist. Foreign key example one. Thought we made that. MPLE. There we go. So that's there. So we got that. Uh, now I just need to populate it with something.
I want these specifically not to be alphabetical. Um, Tuscaloosa. And again, see, this is like I'm duplicating a whole bunch of stuff here, but I want all these things completely independent. Um, like, I could call up and grab the models a different way, I'm sure, but like this is independent, right? Uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Jacksonville, Florida. St. Augustine, Florida. Orlando, Florida. Uh, New York, New York. I can't think of any other city in New York. Um. So there's nothing here yet, but if we go here and we find this page and we go pre for state and states and for so let's just see if we got that working. There we go. And then for city and state, city set all, oh, I think. This is the syntax thing that I was trying to work through. So like this, these are things that I want the examples of. There we go. Yeah, so to some of the tutorial stuff that I've been thinking about and potentially working on here is also this is a new good one of just don't put HTML in there, just put the pre in there and then just kind of walk through like what the what it looks like. I'm, like this is not the greatest. Um template language or whatever like it just it kind of it's hard to parse now some of that too could be that it could have better uh, syntax highlighting but whatever so that's got that that's got that that's got that so the other thing i want to do real quick though just to get rid of it is on my scratch pads django garden 2 I'm just going to nuke that one. All right, so I don't know why everything just collapsed. Wait, did I just nuke the wrong one? Django Garden. It's still alive. Oh, this is Django Garden 2. Okay, gotcha. Django Garden's still alive. Okay. I just jumped over to it for some reason. Or maybe I did. Whatever. Okay, um, so let's do this. Oh, you already got the readme there. Oh, actually, no, what I do want to do, let me go grab those readmes. Yeah, 
Yes. So we're going to put this in garden. Three of me should basically be the same. Yeah, I didn't actually do anything on the second one yet. Oh. Stop. Okay, now I can kill this. Example of foreign keys. There are city and state models. Each state can have zero or more cities. Each city can have, must have, one and only one state. Um, this example lists the cities and the state. They are in. Cool. Um, so let me see what else I want to do here. So there's a couple other. So I think I want to do a mini to mini example. With movies and actors. Whoops. Whoops. Also, you don't do that here. You do it over here. Start app. Many to any example one. This one will take slightly more time because I haven't done it eight times already. Uh, config. Many to many example one. URLs. Get that going. There are URLs here. Ah. From dot import views. URL patterns equals that path nothing views dot index do our views def index request I could copy a bunch of the stuff out but um I'm not going to. Uh, so the first one is going to be 
movies equals movie movie objects all context movies movies return request return render request many to many example one index HTML context models class movie which is gonna be a model subclass name equals models character field with a max length of 255 that's the minimum stuff we can do there and then def string self return self.name so that it shows up nicely in the admin console Class actor, models, model, name, and so the question is, you could put the many to many on either one of these, right? Because what movies actors have been in, or what actors movie had, but I'm going to go with movies have actors. And so the way that this works, right, is the foreign key is on the, so states have cities. So the foreign key comes there. So I'm going to go models or sorry, movies have actors. So I'm going to put the many to many relationship in the actors. I guess you would do plural, right? Many to many. What's the many to many field versus many to many related? What's the difference between field and related? Ooh. Wow. Got slammed. question that could be answered by looking at reference material documentation researching and sharing ideas and digging the code that is not for external use is fun and I'll start answering this question I would not know would not have written anything good question dude all right, cool all right yeah slam Many, too many. Yeah, and that's exactly how I saw it, right? Also, it's a oh, many to one rel. So these relationships probably are not what we're supposed to be using, right? That's probably for a foreign key. Um, and so I need to pass it a movie. And then I think I need to also pass it related name, none. Related query name, none. Limit choice to none through db constraint
Okay, I was gonna see if you had to do like an on delete thing, but maybe you don't. Let me go look up. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, just straight do it. Yeah, these are the two keys that I think you want in most things. Is like string and meta. Or meta ordering. Which I will go ahead and do now. Models, import, movie, movie, ooh. Get a little spacing there for pep8, I did this again, mple, uh, okay, I haven't migrated it yet, let's do that, python, manage, make, migrations, But whatever. Python. Manage. Ah. Oh, I used to be able to tab from MAN. Now I gotta do a couple different ones. Whatever. Python. Manage. Migrate. Many. To many example one. All right. Let's see what happens. I'm actually not even sure. Did I put? I haven't put templates in there yet. Here. All right, so that worked. Let's see if we can do something with it. Pre for movie in movies. Movie name. Should have been title, whatever. That is not worth going and fixing or changing. That, however, is. So, is this going to work? First, I should add some movies. Did I add those to admin? Not yet. From models, import, actor, movie. Admin. Site. Whoa, 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 whoa. Register actor movie. Forrest Gump. I can't even think of any movies right now. Um, Matrix. I can't think of any movies right now. I'm bad at this. 
I want to say American History X, but that's a little bit. Uh, save. Oh, you know what I need is who's what else is it, is Tom Hanks in? Big. Tom Hanks, big Forrest Gump. Came out in 94, wow. That's weird, I would've thought it was a different time. Uh, let's see full cast and crew. We're gonna actually copy some of this down. Um, Oops, that should be movies. Gonna grab some data. So this will be stuff that we mess around with in general. Um, oh, and you never thought about the fact that you could actually have, right? Um, nurse's bench, uh, Miss Gump, Sally Field. Young Forest, Doctor. Where's like people? Principal. Oh, this must be like order of appearance or something. In credits order. Verified as complete. This must have been the order that they showed up at. Robin Wright. Oh, actually, let's do it this way. Robin Wright. Yeah, I wasn't thinking, but this would be a good, another good data set just to mess with. Was Jenny. Oh, Curran, Curran, never knew her last name. College football coach. Like Bear Bryant. Bubba Blue, was that? That's Bubba Gump, huh? I never knew his last name was Blue. Uh, who else are we gonna use? Go driver. Oh, there you go, Lieutenant Dan. That's what we're looking for. All right, any other major characters that we're missing here? Abby Hoffman. John Lennon voice. <laughs> Lieutenant Deanne's fiance. Doesn't get a name. Oh. Uh, okay, so that's that. This is a rough film. I don't know if I want to put that in the things. Uh... Big. They made a mini series out of Big. Tom Hanks is Josh. What's his name? Susan. Super simple names here. John Hurt. 
This is just copying data. Uh, John Lovitz. Scotty. All right. Uh, matrix. The. Lawrence Fishburne, Morpheus, Karen Moss, Trinity. You know, it'd be interesting. I'm actually going to spend a little time doing this. We're going to grab some other data here. Agent Smith. Cypher. I don't recognize any other names off the top of my head. Um, this, okay, so now I'm just gathering data to use for examples in general. So this could be boring for a minute. <laughs> I didn't know there was John Wick chapter five. Uh, I guess we'll just do John Wick. I just want to have a couple of their like circles. Ian McShane. Is that who I think it is? Oh, and Lance Reddick. Yeah. This is awesome stream content. was that Hugo Weaving. What else was Hugo Weaving in? He looks super different with a beard. He ruined data. Was that 2005? Wow. I would have thought it was earlier than that. You go weaving. John Hurt. It's all happy in that picture. See, if I was really smart, what I'd do is like hack into the API, or not hack, but get into the API, and eh, he can say hack. Not like crypto hack or anything, but just like whatever. I don't recognize any of the rest of them. That's cool. Anybody else? Whatever, it's fine. Lawrence Fishburne. 
bunch of stuff. I'll, I'll mess around more of that, but what I'm looking for, I just want a couple that we can have. So the Matrix, Hugo Weaving. So we want to make John Wick as a movie. Uh, yeah, this is where I want to get this. This will be one of the other things that we work on. Um, Because I want to be able to see in the admin panel all the rest of this stuff, right? Um, hopefully it doesn't explode. Hopefully it opens. I don't understand how that happened because there's not a crush on the rest of the can. Movies, so we need V for Vendetta. And then actors, Hugo Weaving goes in there. Ah, uh, he's in. Matrix and that safe. See, like I, I, what I want to have in the admin eventually is like show me. Well, I guess you kind of can see. And there's a way that you can put the controller in to actually see that a little bit better. Um, and then so is Tom Hanks. We need Keanu Reeves. and John Wick and the Matrix. And then let's do Lawrence Fishburne in the Matrix. Okay, now we got some data. So there are our movies. And in our views, so for actor in, so here's what I don't know how to do. Let's see if that works. Ah, wait, movie. Actors. Nope. There you go. It's consistent. All right. Like, yeah, I know all these examples are out there in the world, but like, I haven't found like a consolidated place for just like recipes, basically. Maybe I should call this the Django cookbook. Oops.
yeah, like... And you come up with a better term for that. Um, yeah, so this is the, like how you build cheat sheets and tutorial stuff, instructional stuff, right? It's not super fast, it's not super whatever, but like get you set up. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing Find that tab completing. There we go. That was weird. It's a hair right there. So URLs.py from Django. URLs import path from dot import whoops import views URL patterns equals this path nothing views index def index request and so now we're gonna have actors equals actor object all actors actors return render request many whoops to many example to index html context build that Many to many example two and XHTML models. We're actually just going to copy straight over because these like this is a continuation, and this is what I was talking about where it's like. You could just update the view and be like, hey, check this out. And here's how you make like these couple modifications here, this over here, whatever. But like, I want to be able to have this thing as like a completely its own page. So a lot of duplication. Uh, so there's our models, so let's go ahead and push those in. Um, make regressions for many to many example two. Ah, oh, forgot to add it here. Might as well put the URLs in now. I wish y'all could listen to the same music as me. It'd be kind of cool. Let's try that again. Oh. 
not in the admin yet, so there's not going to be anything to see there. Hector is not defined. What did you get? Aha! From dot model import actor. Actor has no attribute object. How about objects? Plural. Here we go. Okay, cool. Oh, we didn't register anything in the admin for it. Hey, what's up, Velcro? How you doing? Glad, glad you're alive. That's better than the other thing. Get something shows up here now. There's many big many. Okay, so movies. Well, let's put in a couple movies. Again, we're gonna do the Matrix. We'll do John Wick. V for Vendetta. Alright, actors. Let's make sure we get the right actors. Oh, playing around with CSS? Nice. Making anything cool? Or just like shoveling stuff around? I'm not good at CSS at all. I'm, I'm so uh, out of touch with that stuff. I got to get back into it. So I got John Wick. Uh, here, we'll add William Defoe to John Wick. Uh, we'll add Lawrence Fishburne to the Matrix. And Hugo Weaving goes to V for Vendetta and the Matrix. And Natalie Portman goes to V for Vendetta. That did not copy. All right, that's probably enough. Animating SVGs. Nice. I've never really done SVG animation stuff. Um, I've seen it, and you can do some amazing stuff with it, but it's never uh, never been something I've tried, really. That's As I'm crawling up the chain here on some of that stuff, eventually I'll get to that. Um, but I ain't there yet. Is it working? Uh, let's put pre... For actor in actors and for actor dot name. Let's see if that actually shows up. There's our actors. Now, let's see if we can figure this out. For Movie in actor, is it movie set? Is it just the same thing? That would be super cool if it is. Nope, it is not the same thing. Nope. Actor and movie, actor dot movies. Oh, that exploded. Oh, there you go. That's it. You need a view box on top. Specifying the width and height. I don't really even know what a view box is. Oh, like a kind of a bounding box, I think, right?
Oh, the SVG V-Box. Okay, I do remember that. Yeah, I, I did just a touch of that stuff a while ago, um, but it is not, not in my head. I have to look back into that some some point. Hmm. Yep. Cool. I'll look into it. That's how I understand it. That's cool. I couldn't guess how to play in window. Okay. Uh, okay, this all worked. That was too far. Uh, okay, so that's both of those. And now I gotta figure out how many more of these I wanna do. So. I think that's probably good for right now. Um, I'm just trying to make like recipes, basically, or like little cheat sheets for how uh, for how to do stuff um, in Django. So that's what all that was. Um, now let's see. So what I actually want to do. Um, What I should do is go figure out why the NASA thing isn't. Eh. Ah, oh, but I don't want to do that. My NASA video assembler thing broke. Um, and I can't. I haven't looked into why. It just. It's thrown some random error. Um, and I kind of don't want to get in there and see what's going on. So. Uh, I'm not yet right now. Uh, okay, so let's look at this and see what this one's doing. So this is where I'm going to start rebuilding my little toolkit. Uh, let's see. Now let's just do this. Okay. So I've got that coming in for the links. So I'm just trying to set up. So links, here's the home page. A kind of a link sheet. Views on homepage. Is that actually at? So that's at the root. What's actually calling to the root? Okay, you're going to links URLs. Okay, gotcha. So you're not calling that. I'm not calling this pages. I'm just calling straight into links. And then that's calling straight into index. which is just getting categories. Oh, so I want to put in filters here to sort. Ordering by name. Ordering by name. My name. Um, oh, you know what I should do? Oh, that's what I should do is go through on that other one and put in. ways to see the admin panels. Yeah, that would be a good thing. 
but should those be their own? Yeah, they kind of should be their own things. Crap, that kind of sucks. Uh... Cause like, Django Garden. On the server. Oops, I'm gonna put a thing there. I should probably do that. So states should show the cities. And the city, well, it already shows the states. Um, I'm not going to mess with that right now. Actually, you know what I want to do? Is look at Tailwind. Speaking of CSS. Oh, it's an NPM thing? It's not just style sheets. Great, there's all the stuff. I get it. How do we actually use it? Tailwind UI. This is where they charge you, right? Really access. Explore the preview. How long is this? Twenty minutes. Yep, not right now. Uh, I don't really want to install it. Can't you just have oh, documentation? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Online program for Tailwind UI, including support for things like Tailwind config JS, code completion, I'll dig deeper into Tailwind. How do I make that go away? I can't make it go away. Oh, that's actually what I'm playing with. Wow, look at all this code. That's a lot of code. I'm not going to mess with that. New page. Figure, MD flex, PG gray, rounded, 
class around an unfull auto. See, this is all just like, yikes. So there's an image, div, black quote. <sighs> I don't know if I want to mess with this right now. Um, so I've got the core. Yeah, I do want to put styles on it. Okay, let's go ahead and look at it. This is going to be slow. Yes, I didn't mean that. Documentation. Read the docs. For most real projects, we're reconciling Tailwind as a post CSS plugin. Most modern frameworks use post CSS under the hood already. There's a good chance you're already in the current using post CSS using RPX or. Reader guide using. See, okay. This isn't going to work for me because I don't have that stuff as a framework. Um, or I'm not building a React app. However, these people seem to have it. Integration of Tailwind CSS with Django, aka Django plus Tailwind equals love. Add Tailwind to the install, create a Tailwind compatible Django app. I like to call it theme. Add your nearly current theme to installed apps. In settings, register Tailwind app. Okay. Django Tailwind comes with a simple base HTML template you found of your lot. Build production version of CSS, run tail version, run build. Okay. Purge CSS setup to avoid importing all tailwind, resulting in massive CSS file size. Set up the purge configuration. Sometimes, especially in Windows, Python's if you can't find npm installed on the system. In this case, do that. Update TA1 CSS dependencies. Updating Tailwind. Cool, let's try this. Add Tailwind to settings. Toolkit. Let me close all this stuff. Settings. Tailwind. Create a Tailwind compatible Django app. I like to call it theme. I will also call it theme. Please add theme to installed apps.
in settings app register tail by adding the following string. Okay, just throw that down here. Run a command to install all necessary dependencies. Okay. And of course. Oh, come on. Building. Error not found Python 2. Oh. Checking for Python executable, Python 2, and path. Why do they have to do it that way? Can I just oh, see this sucks? Um. the switch version. Rip Python 2. <laughs> January 2020, okay, yep, so Python versions, we've got them installed. Project I want to run in five, so I'll set the version locally and confirm its use. All right, so two, What's going on? That's not working. That's not working. Python. Oh. Oh, that's pretty solid. I'm impressed. That's cool. I like it. Yeah, that's very cool. And also just figuring out how to do it, right? Um, so even if you don't use that one specifically, like anything you figure out is good stuff. 279 is a thing, right? 279, okay, we're gonna try this. how this works.
I'm gonna flag you. Uh, Tailwind. Django. So I'll Tailwind CSS with the Django project. Make an AJS project with NPM. This live reload server package with Django. Add CSS purge. Create a new directory with Django project in which you install Tailwind CSS like any Django. You know. Okay. Make your JS toolchain CD in there. Install Tailwind. This is also nicer. Hang on a second. It's all tail and TS with the Django project like any. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Since that didn't work. Whoa. Whoops. That may take a minute. Added 79 packages, auto da, ba, 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 29 packages looking for funding. 2021? MPX, Tailwind, init. CSS from which directory? Uh, and the tailwind CSS, do that. Now add a script in your JSS toolchain packages file to create the build process and specify the output. Now add a script in your JS toolchain packages .json file. Where's that? This doesn't make any sense. That needs to be JSON, that has to be this way, right?
Pussy assists. Tailwind. Your path to static, which I don't really have. Make static there. Wait, but if we're here, your Django folder path to static, but we really just want to go up that directory, right? So if we run that from here, Deploy to ensure the CS output is not bloated and useless classes. Go to and uh, da -da 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 -da. now running a build search for must prowler. You're ready for things. The build script could be run automatically when Taylor run files are edited. Purge JS could be automatically run when required rather than right. any other idea. Yeah, Django Tailwind did not work for me, though, is the problem. Build failed. I can't get it to install. We're going to try it this way. Okay, so we got that. Missing script build. Now out of script. Nope. Might not be worth it, but we're gonna see if we can get it going. Um, Adds modules but bend to the path. Any binaries provide on one of independence.
Missing script. I don't know anything about NPM. Would it execute arbitrary commands specific to the project or package? Run script is right, execute arbitrary commands. Check your uh, applicable packages JSON, which will have to find what happens when you execute that. So why didn't that work? Maybe it doesn't need that. Not wasn't it. Oh, I love it when there's detailed directions, but they don't quite work. Now, add a script in your JSON packages. Missing script build. I'm right there, right? Yeah, it's right there. Sorry, that's not JSON. But we tried this already. Nothing here created a packages.json. Oops. I'm without there. Okay, let's see if this looks better. Scripts. Build. Crap, thought that was gonna be it. Spelled that right, right? Yep. Main version main. You put npm run g8 page speed and your deploy script, but you need to tell what npm done. Some just webpack, I assume. So I don't know any of this stuff. not to mention it inside the scripts. Okay, what if... That's gotta be it. We put it at the root, what does that do? There's no way that works. It's supposed to be package.json? Yeah, package. All right, so we're gonna go back to what they had here originally. 
which I don't think is going to work even when I rename it. But it should at least find the file now, right? Unexpected token, blah de blah de blah blah blah. Packet JSON must be actual JSON, not JavaScript. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now let's see if this explodes. That's how to do it. Oops. All right, we're gonna edit that real quick. full JSON format necessary to get build command to work. Ditch this. And run it one more time with our proper. Well, I guess I could have just yanked the uh, CSS file. That's all it is. That's all it's doing. I think it's making a giant CSS file. Static. Can't tell if it's thinking or not. Doesn't want to open it. That's hysterical. Uh, do I have a base template? I don't know if I do. Templates, base, there we go. Let's see what that does. 
Nothing out the box. Let's see if it gave us the right path. Oh, I'm not calling it. Uh huh. Want more? Tag block static. Did you forget to register and load this tag? I might have very well done that. Uh, config settings. I thought we had a static URL. I set up static. Oh, not pie, Django. Static files. Follow to Django in the main app and secondary apps. Uh, Django set up static files. Static files is there. Static URL. In your template, use the name static to build for the given static file storage. Static file storage. I think you gotta set that. Static URL, static durs, static file storage default. The file storage engine to use. Freddy's instance of the storage backend defined in the setting can be found at that. Project also really have static assets that aren't tied to a particular app. Aha. Uh -huh. Where's my setup? Django setup. Basic process. Uh, 
Add that somewhere in there. Which right now, we're gonna add down here. Yeah, I keep wanting to really like Django, but it keeps, like the static files thing is just like, ah. Eh. But like it's database stuff is awesome. I know people have talked about using React with Django as the uh, database engine. See if this fires up. Nope. Invalid block line. Did you forget to register or load this tag? Static. Should have worked. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, does that matter if that's quotes and quotes? Shouldn't matter. Does not appear to matter. Let's see what we did. You got that. We got that. I'm sure we got this error. My code is a dental decanus. Oh, this is Treehouse. So you have an incorrect syntax for the opening template tag. You've written blah blah. blah. Why don't you do that? This is causing an error. Did I do that? No. Is this some weird thing where those characters are messed up? It is not. What's going on? Make sure Django static files is included in your. This is number one on this checklist. I swear I looked at that. Static. That's it, right? It is installed. Now if I go one, the correct format is load static.
Static files is not registered tag library unless we want to add them in here. Static. There you go. What if you can put that under? Looks like you can. Okay. Managing static files. In your template, you use static template to build it for a given relative path configuration. Yeah, so you gotta have a load static. There it is. Where's that other thing that we just had? So I want to re-edit it and put that in as well. There it is. That's it. Where is this? Edit. Here we go. Just run there and tell everyone now. Fill files with lines. I could actually use it by including the output of CSS file in here. Along with call to load. Django's call to load. The static files. Add the necessary load load static call it's like overflow um python django tailwinds css Okay, so that was a lot. But it looks like it's working. New and tailwind, extra wide breakpoint, animations, gradients, show presets, extend color palette. That's cool. Uh, all right, so I got that running. So that's was whatever. Um, but I'll uh, I'll play around with that, and we'll see how this goes. Dark mode false. Include tail in your CSS. Building your CSS. Customizing your config. Building production. Use it on CDN. HTML starter pack. Wait, I should actually all that stuff in my base template. Is that going head? Yeah. Make 
your friends, like not just few and others, do all this behind the scenes automatically, so depending on whether you're building or not, you may not need to set this up. Documentation components. There we go. That's what I've been looking for. All right. Uh, I'm going to roll that out. That's enough kind of messing around tonight. Um, so I just rolled over something. I'm not sure what. Uh, and I should figure that out. So cool. Uh, all right. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye.